Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker. <laughs> My name is Vilkata, and in this episode, we're going to do something crazy. We're going to try to complete a light cargo mackerel at grade 20 in one shift. Can it be done? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But we do need to get all three milestones for it to count. <laughs> So, in order to make this attempt, I am going to have to take some risks, and then we have to change the way I normally do things. Now, first of all, if you've seen my past episodes, there's something I do on every ship, which is I take everything off the exterior before I do anything else. We're going to forgo that on this one, and we're going to leave these side panels in place. The reason we're going to do that is because these side panels go to the same place that the walls go. It adds weight to them, but that's okay. Airlock pressure levels dropping. We're also going to just have to get lucky here on the decompression. Oh man, stuff! Lots of stuff! Come back! Come back! All right, I think I caught everything. If we don't send them all into the processor on accident. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay, we can't spend too much time looking for things. Salvage secured. Alright, hopefully we didn't miss anything else. Although I suspect some stuff might have gotten away. Alright, nothing obvious, so let's get in here. Looks like we got lucky on the decompression. And I got not decompression, depressurization. <laughs> I am going to always get that wrong. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Airlock pressure levels increasing. I, I'm cycling the airlock just so that I increase my options for mobility in case I need to go through there as a shortcut. I probably won't need to. I'm also going to be careful about using the precision cutter around all this fabric because, in my experience, it has ignited in the past. I did not remove that yet. That means I didn't remove this either. And certainly didn't remove that. The roof looks like aluminum. I think it's the last roof piece we're going to move at the moment. Get rid of some of this clutter. Is that guy not? Did you seriously not go? Go. I will probably talk less in this episode because I'm kind of in the zone. And uh, I get focused sometimes. So I apologize if there's a little less colorful commentary. 
Oh, 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 oh. Really, seriously. As I uh, attempt to keep within our time limit. Yeah. Using tethers to save a couple of seconds adds up. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transfer. Thruster. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Oh, I didn't make a mental note of we, when we get back in there, we gotta look for where our radiation filters. Because those are Oh no 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 no, we don't have time for this. Come out! Alright. Radiation filters... None? At grade 20? There could be some behind the... That wall of furnaces? Of, not furnaces, of, uh... <laughs> of fabrics? There could be some behind the wall of fabrics. Apparently the wall was still compressed. Or pressurized. We're okay with that. You know what, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it because I wanna get these nacelles out of the way. the day when I, early on when I first was learning this, I actually entered from the back. And somewhere along the lines I changed that strategy. And I've kind of had to revisit the back to front because of the presence of the uh, radiation filters. The filters aren't the problem, right? The the problem is the housing for them. Okay, apparently I forgot to cycle it one more time. I'm stuck where I'm at until this thing stops doing. Alright. Small mental error there that didn't I don't think cost us anything. Hopefully. Nothing else on that wall. Let's get that tank out. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. We had a pretty good time. I'm not saying I'm confident we're gonna make it. All right, so that moved enough of the ship from the decompression event that we can, I'd say, safely bring this over here. All right, 
We need to deal with the cockpit. That's gonna take a long time. Oh no! It doesn't work anymore. All right. Processing valuable objects. That sounded like something just broke. Got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We wrap. Get this ring off the top here. Did you guys hear something break? Because I heard... Oh, the wall broke. Okay, that we don't care about. Actually, we like that. Yay, wall breaking. More room to get that out. So in preparation of doing these a little faster, I did upgrade my oxygen bottles. So that I don't have to get O2 during a shift. A little bit of time savings. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage gains observed. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Over three minutes left, and a whole milestone left to go. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Just gotta break the other and sell off the back. We're gonna obviously lose all the stuff that's in the cockpit, you know, glass and whatnot. There's just there's definitely no way we can. Take the time going after that. about that just go this is not going right not going right that was wasted time this should be fairly quick though so we don't accidentally detonate the fuel Come on, come on, come on, come on. We don't actually need to disconnect that last back piece. It's something I always forget about, but it's not actually attached. Is there a reason you're not wanting to move out of my way? I know we don't have the reactor yet, but we need to start moving this. Grab the reactor on the run. That's some sloppy cutting. Oh, the furnace stuff on the back. I can't get that out of there. 
I don't know. I was trying to get that plate off the back. Processing valuable object. Credit Is it gonna be enough? Material deposited. Yeah! Ha ha ha! We did it! Oh, we did it! Shift tear down complete. Full tear down. Single shift. Excellent. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha Oh, alright. Uh, that wasn't as clean as a, a normal run, but we did it. Single shift. Yeah, we couldn't get that reactor plate off because it was stuck. There, all the fabric on the back of that wall was holding the plate in, in place, but that's okay. All right. Well, so we got a little lucky, right? We didn't have a radiation chamber, which is surprising at grade 20, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. All right. So we did that light cargo mackerel in one shift. And we a little bit more red, actually a lot more red than I wanted to get out of it. But we accomplished our goals, which was, uh, you know, one shift and all three milestones. And I was thinking, you know, that was a fairly quick run, right? Well, one shift. <laughs> so why don't we try that again? You know, I, I brought up my catalog here and I have a heavy cargo mackerel in the top of the list. So let's try that one as well, you know, a little variation in it and uh, see if we can pull this off in a single shift. Uh, of course, the goal here is going to be to do this as fast as possible. It means we're going to have to take some risks. Cut some corners. And the first risk we're going to do is we're not even going to go inside. We're just going to Knock on the hatch and see what comes out. This is a terrible idea. Salvage destroyed. There was a forklift in there. That's lovely. <laughs> Luckily, it looks like a bunch of stuff got ran into each other and couldn't come flying out on their own. Oh man, that is heavy. It's drifting. We'll let it go. I cannot believe that forklift did not just destroy everything. So, oh, I think one thing I need to remember to do here is I had some feedback from a viewer saying that things were a little dark. Not, not dark as in. Uh, foreboding. <laughs> Dark is in the uh, brightness level. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I look back at some of my you know, past replays and, yeah, they're, they're, for some reason, they are darker than they are when I record them. Or some of them are. And uh, I don't have an immediate explanation as to why, but, you know, point taken. And thanks for that feedback. So I'm going to try to remember to leave the uh, headlamp on as much as possible. So that hopefully you guys can see things a little bit better. And it's a little more clear as to what I'm doing at any given time. Or, you know, I, I know that, like, even when I already watched some of those episodes, you know, I'm shooting. Like the stinger down through a, a small space and hitting something way off in the distance. And those videos, for some reason, you just really can't tell what I'm aiming at. But I, I promise you that when I'm doing it myself, I can see what I'm targeting. I'm not just blind firing. And uh, hopefully that'll be a little bit easier to see now with, with the headlamp on more often. But sometimes the headlamp just doesn't get good visibility. Object accepted for processing. Just because of the angle, something's blocking it. And so sometimes it just it just can't be helped. But definitely, you know, let me know if, if it seems any better to you guys. Let's go ahead and take care of the cockpit 
now that we're thinking about it. There is undoubtedly going to be some uh, corner cutting going on, and we want to get the small valuable things done quickly now so that we can know where we can take, you know, shortcuts when we have less time. You know, how much shortcutting do we need to take? I need to check and see if the walls are pressurized still. No, they're not. I don't need to look. The interior side of the heavy gecko, or heavy gecko, the interior walls of the heavy cargo are porous. porous. So I can gu I guarantee it's not pressurized. I'm just trying to talk through what's going through my head. Because I need to have a plan for when I pull the last thing off of here, where do I turn to and do next? Instead of spinning around and searching for something else to do. So I think I want to cut the cockpit off the front next. We didn't have to open the door, which means there is no door handle on the inside. So here we have two radiation units, one on either side. Let's pull this forward a bit. Since we didn't have to depressurize the walls, that means there was no air to push the front out. Oh, 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 stuck. I'm stuck. I think it's fairly safe to assume that we're not going to get the um, glass and things out. And what I, I don't normally use a tactic that I just showed you there. What I did was I used the tether to, because the tether will you know pull an object off of a wall. Oh, I missed it. So I tethered them together so that they would pull each other off the wall but not actually go anywhere. And I was just trying to save myself a little bit of time. I'm getting a little loosey-goosey here though and I'm losing my time savings. Got a bit of red and I feel like I feel like I threw some things somewhere I wasn't supposed to. I'm just going ahead and assuming there that that is not, you know, I'm not going to take the time to worry about the glass. We're going to call that necessary red. And be ready for her to be angry at us. That's heavy. Valuable object process. There it goes. Yeah, that's a fair amount of red there. The only other red we really got to worry about is going to be the radiation housings. And I don't really know how much that is going to constitute on the line. Hopefully not too much. I know they're fairly valuable, but they're not like super duper valuable. Let's cut the back free. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Both of them, get both of them. Yes. Let's get this guy out of our way. Get the walls so we can shut down the fuel.
cutting with one hand, flushing with the other. And we need to move this out of the way so we don't accidentally set it up while we're cutting this out. It doesn't usually happen, but I have definitely had it happen. go. Alright. This wall should be good to go. Let's see if we... Did we get the handle off the door? We did not. Alright. Five minutes? Not bad, not bad. going to pre-tether this. Hopefully I can get this flushed and out of the way fast enough. Alright, Cutter, you got five minutes left to this ship before they turn the lights out on you. Get a batter. We wrap. Hopefully it won't drag it while I'm doing it. Oh, oh, oh. Turned around there. All right. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. Tether's probably running out. Gotta get these cuts real fast. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Ooh, I got all three of them at one shot. Nice. All right, and another tip I got from a couple of viewers was that we can cut these out in one shot with a stinger. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Salvage secured, credit deposited. Let's see if the other side had the tether last long enough to pull it in. It's looking good. Three minutes. We are smoking on this. This is good. I mean, we still got a lot to do because the inner walls are made up of a lot of processor pieces as well. One of the drawbacks of this version in respect to you know, being able to do it quickly. Because normally we could send this whole shell, or most of it, into the furnace. But instead, we have to take time to cut all these out. And send them individually. Though this may actually work in our favor, because we're going to have the added weight of the... housings here, making it harder to drag this thing quickly. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Looks like that wall section might need another tether. I didn't want to get the front panel. That's not going to help. It's going to break free. Okay, let's, uh, uh... I really wish I had gotten in so we'd know how close we are. Oh, got another piece cut out. Right here. We gotta get 
get that asteroid out too. I haven't messed with it because it's so heavy it's hard to move around. I was hoping to get an opportunity after I took out those walls. There we go. Alright, um, you know what, normally I would melt this, I think it's going to be faster for me to cut it, because of the back panels on it. No, 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 don't take it with you. I don't have time for that last one. Material deposited. You know there's no way this works. Oh no! Haha, <laughs> I forgot about that whole thing! <laughs> oh, but we got our three milestones. Wow, that actually went out pretty well. I mean, oh, what an oversight. I left that whole thing up there at the top. That was the back end I pulled up. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we learned a lesson there. Don't forget about the things that you move out of the way. Uh, but we, uh, the, I, that radiation housing I got that I managed to salvage, I think really made a difference. And I was ready to chuck that guy in the furnace. Oh, that's the f filter. Where is that? Yeah, right here, 157,000. So that was big. That was, that's what gave us the, the, the third milestone. So lessons learned in this. So it was a good run. All right, we learned quite a bit on that run, and you know, we we got away with getting our third milestone without even bringing the back <laughs> the back section in, which was just silly. So we learned not to forget about the giant pieces of ship that we pull out of the way. <laughs> and normally I would have just tethered it back down, but I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get a quick cut, and then I'm gonna come back to it. Totally blanked it. We learned that that containment unit made a huge difference. You know, I was ready to, to get rid of both of them and you know let's be honest I probably would have been better off pulling that second one into the processor and not even bothering with the furnace which is a personal gripe I have and other people on the forums have complained about that uh, and I think all rightfully so is that the value of things that go in the furnace is so low that you're not really incentivized to bother throwing things in the furnace and I try to do what's meant to be done in the game, and that's my that's I'm true for any game I play, and that's why I still make an effort to try to put everything in the furnace I can. But you can see how lack of impact the furnace can have over things that go in the processor, and that really illustrated it. But that was an excellent run. I would like to have gotten more of the yellow bar done, but we did cross our third milestone. We did get less red. And had I not goofed up and left that thing up on the ceiling, we would have done much better than we did in the previous run in, a, in relation to how much red that we lost. We lost less in this case. And we lost part of that. It was right at the beginning when we depressurized and lost a, a pallet jack, a uh, forklift. So uh, this is going to wrap it up. Thanks very much for you know sticking with me and, and sticking with me through two videos back to back. And... Uh, you know, like it if you like. You know, if you saw anything they could have done better that I didn't point out that I made a mistake of on my own, <laughs> like leaving a thing up on the ceiling. You know, certainly let me know down there. I, you know, I, I definitely value the feedback I get from viewers, and I incorporate them in my future episodes to get things done better. You know, like the lighting and and cutting out the filter with the uh, stinger were two very good things uh, in the feedback, and I, I'm 
really appreciate hearing those things. So leave a comment, leave a like, and, uh, and definitely return for the next episode. I appreciate hanging out with you guys. And uh, thanks for watching.